Hello everyone and welcome. This video series is going to focus on this awesome tool called Zojo. Now, what is Zojo? Zojo is a cross-platform development tool for creating and sharing apps for multiple platforms. Of course, including the desktop like Mac OS, Windows and Linux, or the web, iOS and Raspberry Pi. Now, using Zojo, you can create native apps for your target platform using a single development environment where you can drag and drop your user interface elements and use the straightforward object-oriented Zojo programming language to bring your app to life. This uh, tool is used uh, by you know, solo developers, hobbyists, uh, professional developers, and it is an on-premise tool for developing cross-platform apps with a straightforward Zojo programming language. So let's get to it. Um, Let's start by downloading Zojo. Now, Zojo could be accessed through Zojo.com. So go to Zojo.com and hit the Download tab. Click on Download Zojo. You'll have two options. Uh, first, uh, you can sign in if you have an account with Zojo. If you don't have an account, you can simply create an account by submitting your email address. So let me type in my email address here. And then uh, simply click Submit. Once you hit the Submit button, a confirmation email is going to be sent to your address. Go ahead and check your email address for the link. So this is my email. So you have a Verify Email Address button. You click. And then you will be prompted to create a password. So choose a password. Confirm your password, and then hit the Submit button. And then you will be provided with a download link. Now, it's automatically capturing my operating system, and that is Windows. Now, depending on what operating system you're using, it will let provide a download link. So there are various platforms that are supported by Zojo. So for Mac OS, Windows, Ubuntu, Linux, and so on. So click the download button and the download is started. Once the download is complete, open the .exe file. And this will start the Zojo setup wizard. Now keep the defaults, click next, next, and then hit install. Once the setup is complete, you will need to reboot your computer. Restarting your computer will finish the installation. Now that the installation is complete, Let's go ahead and start Zojo. The first time it loads, it will take some time. But the next time you start it, it will be much quicker. The first thing you see when you start Zojo is the Project Chooser window. It displays each time you start Zojo. With the Project Chooser window, you can choose to create a new project uh, work on a recent project or open any project files. There are some templates that you can work with. There are some examples and there are your recent projects that you've been working on. Of course, you could develop for desktop. You can develop for web. You can develop console applications or for iOS. Uh, the first thing that you want to uh, type in here is the application name. So let's type in my first app. The company name here is really not important at this point. Just go ahead and click OK. Once you hit the OK button, a single window called the workspace displayed. The workspace consists of these areas, the top part, which is called the toolbar, then the left part, which is the navigator, and the center part, which is the editor area containing the layout and code editors. On the right side, we have the library and inspector and we will focus on these uh, once we start our first app and on the bottom part here 
that's where all errors and message panels are going to be shown. I'll see you in the next video to create our first app.